It's so good to see you guys. How is everyone doing? I hope you all being nice to yourself. I hope you all doing fantastic because I am doing great. This week, um, I decided to, if you follow me on Instagram, I decided to, am I really close to the camera? I feel like I'm really close to the camera. Is this better? I feel like this is a little bit better, kind of, right? If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably noticed that I have been going to the gym at crazy 5.30 a.m. in the morning for the last three days. And I don't do this all the time. I just started doing it because I think three days ago I needed to finish up something for YouTube and then I was like, okay, after work I only have time to do either one or else I'm going to be like stuffed for time. Hey guys, what's up? So, excuse the face and everything. I realize I forgot to film the most important part of the video, which is the reason why I'm making this video. <laughs> um, so this video goes out to you guys who are experiencing um, symptoms of a shitty metabolism, which is like if you're eating at a relatively low calorie uh, count or like you're eating a deficit and you're working out a lot and you're not really seeing any um, changes in the scale or like you just notice that it's just really easy for you to gain weight and you're just frustrated at it like you feel like life's not fair everyone else gets to eat like a normal human being whereas you walk past cookie and you gain like 500 grams or something like that right um, so yeah I used to feel all of these things and I used to think that I was over exaggerating it maybe you know how can eating an extra two cookies a day or like am I just meant to not be able to eat any shit at all in my life in order to stay fit or whatever, you know? I used to think that it was, oh, it was my genes that I was meant to have a shitty metabolism for the rest of my life. But um, yeah, I figure out otherwise and I kind of am starting to realize why that's happening. So this video, if you're feeling that way as well, this video is for you and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. All right, cool. Let's get into it. So first, let's talk about metabolism. What is it? So metabolism is the amount of calories that your body burns. So the higher your metabolism, the more calories you burn. Generally, men burn more calories than women because they have more muscle, because they have more testosterone, they have more testosterone, and hence they have a more muscle, and so they have higher metabolism. So during the process of cardio, as you do cardio, you're getting smaller and you're getting smaller. What you're losing are two things. You're losing fat and you're losing muscle. So what that means is the more cardio you do, the smaller you get, the lower your metabolism will be. On top of that, as you're eating at a caloric deficit, so you're eating less than maintenance, right? So calories in versus calories out, we all know that. So you're trying to exercise more and you're trying to eat less, correct? The smaller your body gets, the less calories it needs to maintain itself. So hence, you keep, you keep needing to eat less and less and less in order to keep losing weight because your body needs less now and so if you're eating at 1400 calories before to lose um to lose let's say 0 0.5 0 0.5 kg a week and now because you're smaller and you need less calories 1400 is your maintenance so you need to eat less than 1400 in order to lose weight so let's say you're going down 1002 1000 and soon you'll see yourself eating almost nothing have a salad smell a cookie, that's it, that's your diet. So I'm not saying that cardio is bad, but if you use cardio solely for the purpose of weight loss, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna damage your body, you're gonna sh get a shitty metabolism out of it, you're gonna ruin your relationship with food because every single thing is gonna make you gain weight because your maintenance level is so low now. The minute you have a slice of cake, that's almost half your calories gone for the day. It's not maintainable, it's not sustainable, it's not something that you can use for the rest of your life. You can do it for a few months, you can do it maybe for a year, for an event, for your wedding, whatever it is. But after that, you're going to be so deprived and you're going to start binge eating again and again. And what I want to say is that health is such a long journey, it's for the rest of your life. Do you want to stay fit for a three month period or do you want to stay fit for the rest of your life? If you were me two years ago or even a year ago, I would tell you, sure, that's really cool, but it doesn't work for me. That's the only way I can lose weight because I have a shitty metabolism and there's nothing I can do about it, right? Throw that out the window because that is a wrong concept. The reason why you have slow metabolism, 
metabolism is because of the situation that I told you before. You just keep going in this cycle. And so you need to stop that and you need to really like retrain your mind into a new mindset of I need to build muscle. Building muscle is the way to lose weight. The first step to changing this lifestyle is to change your mindset. If you keep thinking that cardio is the only way that I can lose weight, even when you start lifting weights, you're going to think that, okay, I need to do this like a thousand times because I need to sweat, I need to burn, I need to... You have that cardio mindset, but you need to stop thinking like that. You need to retrain your mind and tell yourself that I will lose weight if I build more muscle. I need to build more muscle in order to lose more weight. And that's how you should think of it because then your metabolism will increase and then your body will just start burning all the fat by itself. Oof, excuse me. Another thing that I want to talk about is, has a lot to do with mindset as well. This one is just gonna, it's gonna mess you up so bad if you're not ready for it. I used to track my progress when I was doing cardio by standing on the scale, correct? But now that I'm doing weights, I step on the scale after a week of training, I expect to see at least like 500 grams go down. Nothing is different. Next week I go on there, I lose 300 grams. And I'm like, what is going on? I'm clearly working out, but like the scale's not going down. For a while I was like, well, I guess I'm making progress, you know, I'm the, the energy must be going somewhere. I was putting myself down a lot and I was a bit skeptical and I started to do the cardio thing again, which is lift weights a lot, a lot of the time. And then that kind of really slowed down my progress, to be honest. Now that I know what I'm doing more, not to say I know exactly what I'm doing, I know that that's going to happen. The way that you're going to see change in your body when you start weightlifting is through progress pictures. You need to start taking them the same day at the same time of every week. So let's say, for example, Friday, take it every Friday morning, take a progress picture front, back, and side. And then once you compile a month of those photos, you're going to see so much change to your body because a pound of body fat could be this much versus a pound of muscle could be this small. If your body is replacing this amount of fat with this amount of muscle, you're going to be smaller, but it's going to still be a pound and the weight, the weighing scale is not going to show the difference. But your body is changing in such a drastic way, especially for the first few, first few weeks that you're doing it. Oh, you'll see, because you have so much body fat to lose, you'll see such a huge change in your physique, but the scales aren't really going to show the difference. So you need to be ready for that to happen as well. Okay, so now that we're on track with growing muscle, we're doing the exercise and not thinking about cardio anymore. Stop trying to do cardio. Stop trying to sneak in cardio after your sessions. You just tire yourself out. Don't do what I did. Just stop thinking about cardio. I know, yes, there's going to be that one person out there who says, I love doing my high intensity stuff. It makes me feel so good after that. I love running. I love swimming. I love cycling. If that's how you feel after that, go do you. Do do the thing that makes you feel good. But if you're doing it because you're thinking, I need, still need to sneak this in because I need to lose the weight, then you should stop. Just stop, stop doing it. You have to trust in the process. You can't try on a new pair of jeans while you're still wearing your old pair of jeans. You need to take off the old jeans and wear the new jeans. Also, be prepared to be really hungry. This is my next point. Feed your muscles. You need to feed them in order for them to be able to grow. So what your muscles need is protein. I love protein. I know you love protein. I love protein too. Protein rocks. Protein. 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 I told myself before like, oh, once I start the muscle building thingy, I'm going to be fine. I don't want to take supplements. I don't want to take protein powder. And that's fine. You don't need to. You really don't need to. If you're able to get enough protein in your diet to help your muscles grow, then you don't need to take... A protein shake but it's so easy and it's so helpful because on some days where I don't want to stuff 40 40 grams of chicken into my into my lunch and 50 grams of chicken into my dinner having a protein shake is so helpful chances are if you've never body built before and if you're not counting your macros you're probably under eating protein everything else is really important micronutrients are really important but the most important thing that your muscles need to grow is protein. Almost everyone that I've talked to about 
training and building muscle the minute you start lifting weights start the minute your body starts to build muscle your metabolism is going to increase and you're gonna feel hungry you're gonna be like oh my god i'm hungry all the time what is going on because your body needs it and your body's telling you feed me please i need a food to fuel your muscles be aware that this isn't the the green card to just eat anything that you want you need to eat protein even if you're not building muscle, your body needs protein to help your cells function and stuff like that. So there's a lot of mixed reviews about how much protein that you need per pound of body weight in order to build muscle. I would just say start with one pound of protein. Sorry, one, one pound of protein. One gram of protein for each pound of body weight. They say lean body mass, but sometimes you don't really know. So I'm just going to say just body weight. So one pound of protein, one gram of protein for one pound of body weight. There we go. So just to solidify why you should completely throw cardio out of the picture when you're trying to lose weight. Think of it this way. Um, every pound of muscle that you have burns 50 calories. That's, that's the average. I think, um, I think a pound of muscle burns anywhere from 45, um, 45 calories to 70 calories so we're just going to take a middle ground and say 50 right so every pound of body um, muscle burns 50 calories per day so imagine after a month let's say you've built five pounds of muscle right placing fat with muscle itself is already amazing but think about it this way after a month you have five extra pounds of muscle and each of those pounds burn 50 calories per day so that's five times 50 250 calories a day that your body is burning for you without having to do anything that's like that's like 30 minutes of high intensity cardio every single day that's crazy if you think about it that way if you think about it in in cardio terms that's like 30 minutes of high intensity cardio every single day that your body is working to burn off for you without you having to do anything at all so if cardio is on this side and weightlifting is on this side, what if we meet in the middle and do high intensity stuff? What if we do CrossFit stuff, right? What if we do conditioning training with the battle ropes and stuff like that? Doesn't that get you the best of both worlds? Yes, it gets you the best of both worlds, but like, think about it this way. Cardio, you're burning muscle, you're building muscle. If you meet in the middle, you're gonna get fit. You're gonna lose weight right now. You're still the reason why you're trying to meet in the middle because you're still trying to do cardio. Think about your pros and cons. Weigh everything out for yourself because everyone is a different person. You enjoy different things. I enjoy different things. If and cardio is definitely don't get me wrong. Cardio is as essential part of life, and you need a good cardiovascular health in order to be healthy as a wholesome person as well, which is important. Cardio is important, but don't do it with the idea in mind that I want to lose weight, hence I'm going to do cardio. Stop thinking about the burn, stop thinking about doing 100 squats, just aim to build muscle. If you keep thinking, I need to build muscle, I need to build muscle, how am I going to get around everything to build muscle? Automatically you'll find yourself doing less reps. You're not going to do 20 reps of sit-ups, you're not going to be doing 100 squats. And if you have trouble with the whole thing, then definitely get a trainer, it's a new thing it was a new thing for me. I got myself a trainer to teach me the ropes and then, you know, go from there. And that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. I hope that was helpful. If you have any more questions or stuff that I wasn't clear about and you want to know more about, definitely leave those in the comments below. Or even better, leave me a, a message on Instagram. So my handle is down below. And yeah, definitely reach out to me. I do, I try to do daily posts now, daily motivational posts because I know the journey can be hard and let's all stay on this motivational boat together and help each other through our weight loss journey. So yes, that is it for today. I hope that was helpful. Be good to yourself. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!